and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Festa 67's workshop, and welcome to issue 46 of Build the 1967 Mustang Eleanor from the film Gone in 60 Seconds by the wonderful folks over at Fanhome. Now, if you'd like to grab this, click this link all the way there. Head over to the Fanhome website and grab your very own Eleanor. It's one ape scale, folks. So it is bigly, bigly big. Uh, in this issue, we're doing kit number 46. So let's have a little looky kins at what we're doing. In this kit, you'll get anti sway bars, pins, DS4, and PS08 screws. And we're going to be screwing them in underneath the chassis. So you'll want the chassis that we've been building up. You want that. We'll then be putting the pins in, fitting the sway bars, and then we'll be putting the wheels up ready to go. And then it's telling you then how that looks and how they're secured. Okay. And we'll end up at the very end with a rolly chassis that we can do journeys all around the bench and the front room with and drive our partners mad with because I'm five years old, as you know. So I'll just put that at the back. I've got my oil and my screwdrivers already, so I'm pleased with that. You'll want your wheels to one side, which I've got just there on the left. And this is what we're going to be opening up, folks. So we'll get this open and then we'll get building. And that's what we want. So we're putting this sway bar in. And sending it down in there like that, okay? That's what it's telling us. And it goes just inside them brackets. And then we're putting a pin in through one side. No, we've got a pair of pins. So tell a lie, we're putting both of them in. So let's grab them and see how we go about putting them in. So that you can see what I'm doing. Uh, okay. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on it. Just to help it in place. And it goes through this tiny little hole in the bracket. And then should go through that sway arm. I just want to check there's a hole in there. Yeah, there is. And then that will go through and come out the other side. So I'm going to rest it there. I've got a set of protective pliers here. I've got neoprene on them. PTE, PTFE, PTE, whatever it is, and I shall use them to hone that pin into it like that. Now they've got a raised or serrated edge on the pin that locks it in place, folks. And so remember that. We we'll now grab the other one. I'll show you the serration uh, on this one. So let's lose that. There's a little serrated edge just at the top there, like a knurl. And that's just enough for that to bite into the other plastic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through from this side with me pin, because the hole's a bit bigger, and I'm going to lock it in that side, like that. There you go, because I mind it fits better going in from the rear. And I shall use my pliers, bite the edge of the pin there, and the bracket, and just give them a squeeze until it goes in. Right, what you need to do now, you've got this lined up, is now go round, turn it upside down, like so. Grab some PS08 screws, and we'll get them. Like so. And we want to then put a bit of oil on there. Just like so, and use that to screw into these little brackets just at the front there that hold these sway bars in. Okay, you'll see them just there. So that's what we want. So let's grab those and put them in.
just like that. And that will stop them from moving, okay? And then we've got another PSO8 screw here. A little bit of oil on there. Then put your finger underneath this uh, sway bar and put the screw in just in there. And again, you can only tighten them down so far because what it needs is it needs to be able to move with the weight of the wheels in them grooves, okay? So don't go too mad. They'll home on their own onto the plastic. Just like that, okay? So that's what you want. There's a little bit of give, but literally you want them to move as well. So that's those. We then now feed our front wheel assemblies through, folks, okay? So it's telling us, spin this upside down, which we'll do, just like so. And rest that back on the bench. We then need to bring the wheels through and feed them in so that the steering rack will then come up and touch and go through there. Okay, so that's what we want. So again, make sure you're orientating it the correct way. And let's get that located back on there. Let's put the pin on first, just like that. Then put this bracket here through the gap and drop it down at an angle. And then bring the first wheel up into that groove, okay? That's what you want. So whilst that's in place, let's grab one of our screws and get that in situ. Only needs a couple of turns to start her off. But I want to do that whilst that one's in place. And then we can come back and do the other wheel. So locate the screw. And then screw that home. I can actually go all the way with that. There you go. Try and put my hand underneath. There you go. And then we can get the second wheel in situ. And bring that in place. A little bit cumbersome to do, but it will go, folks. And then I can go around and re-tighten all my screws that I've loosened to get this in situ. Like that, under there. There you go. Let's just try and turn this so that I can grip it now. Which is on the bench. There you go. Grab your screwdriver, Colin. And we can now tighten these fully. There you go. So it's a bit flimsy at this stage, I'll be honest. Uh... I just want to bring that in place. I might put a washer in there because that doesn't seem to have much in place there as a to hold that in. So let's see whether we can do that. There you go. And that's what you've got. At the end there. Happy days. So we've got the DS4 screws in. We've got the steering rack in place. So there you go. We have a rolling chassis, folks. Uh, be careful. She's still a little bit 
juddery at this stage because we've got our upper mounts to go in on the suspension. So bear that in mind. And that is that stage complete, folks. So there you go. She's got a rolling chassis, folks. Absolutely. So I can go around, like I say, just put a bit of super glue in a few places just to bind things in place. Uh, you might want to do that on yours as well, just to give it a little bit more oomph because it is very fragile at the moment. So until you've got the rest of your components in, just keep an eye on it, folks. So that's this issue done. That's that completed. This is the uh, stage 46 of the Eleanor build done. Don't forget, if you'd like to grab this yourself, head over to this link. Go to the fan home website. Take out a subscription for your very, very own Eleanor Mustang, folks. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Don't forget, click that subscribe button just there. Helps me out with my channel, helps keep the content coming, and also give the bell a ring as well, and that will notify you when you get more issues of this wonderful Eleanor part work, folks. But until the next time, bye bye, stay safe and well, see you on the next issue. Bye! Look at that. I want to make room noises.